Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 59. So today we're going to continue our training on the consumer applet, and I'm going to teach you how to create a one-off landing page, in this case to feature maybe a specific listing with content around that listing. So let's dive back into consumer. It's our last applet here. And we're going to, as we have multiple times before, click on the Edit My Website button. That's going to bring up our editor. And today, we're going to go with Landing Page. So you can see we've got a Quick Start icon here. We're going to click on Landing Page. And that's going to start us off. So the first thing we've got is a Landing Page title, description, and background image. So we're going to start with Landing Page title. I'm going to say, Welcome to 123 Main Street. Katy, Texas. So you can see where that landing page title comes up and also sort of where it breaks. So since it automatically breaks there after Main Street, I can come in and just delete that comma and then see what that looks like. And you can see that it breaks there naturally. Now, if for any reason you wanted it to break after Main, you can hit Shift Enter to make a line break. And then you can see what that would look like if you want the landing page title to go across two lines but you're particular about where you want those lines to break. For description, you can choose to have a description. Um, just note that right now our background color is charcoal. The description comes up as black. So this can be a little hard to read. So that should show up here. Oh, it does come in white, excuse me. Um, so that shows up as white. So maybe that'll work. Let's see what that looks like. Um, we can come down to background image as well. We can click on that plus sign and you can see it says that we've got to have a required background image. So we're going to click next to the magnifying glass. That opens up our image library and this is where we could come down to the bottom left and click on new. And we would go to new upload. So we were going to click here and we're going to choose and that's going to open up our file explorer and we could just choose a photo to bring in, now these are just some stock photos I pulled from Unsplash so that we had available for us. And you can see that the internal name is just going to name it as your file name. So note that if you wanna change that internal name, you can. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And save one more time. And now we'll go to back. And you can see that that photo has been loaded into our library. So we can click on that photo and then click on the X and you can see that's been brought in as our background image. Now it's important to note because it's a background image, obviously it's gonna crop the photo. So just make sure that's sort of how you want that photo to look. If not, you may need to choose a photo with different dimensions. So right now we do have our page header loaded. We've got our landing page title. We've got our uh, description and it's not that hard to read. So you'll love luxury living at its finest. There we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is bring in a module down here at the bottom. We're gonna click on Add Module, and we're gonna go ahead and choose Rich Text. I have found that you can do a whole lot of things using this Rich Text module. So let's start off with that. And we're gonna scroll down, and you can see that we're gonna get a title and then a Rich Text area. So we can come into the title area if we chose to and said uh, Modern Architecture needs luxury living. All right, so there's our title. Then we could come down to our rich text and this is where we could begin really adding in content. Now, I literally just went to chat GPT. I gave it a small prompt about writing me a luxury listing description for a property and it gave me a pretty good one. So I'm just gonna paste that in now <clears throat> and you can see what that looks like. So inside of the text box, we do have some options. So welcome to your dream home, this modern masterpiece. Let's say I like this paragraph, but I want this started off and I want that centered. So I can click on this alignment button and I can choose to center that beginning paragraph. Then we've got key features. Maybe I want key features bolded and underlined. <clears throat> so you can see what that looks like. Then we've got spacious living areas. Perhaps I want that italicized and I want that to apply to each one of my 
bullet items here we could just go through, right? And you can see how you would easily do that. And of course, on the right hand side, it continues to update what that looks like. <clears throat> At any point, if you're like, mm, maybe not so much, it doesn't look as good, you do have this undo arrow. So we can click on that a few times and that would unitalicize each one of those areas that we just italicized. In addition, we have the ability to add photos into this rich text box. So it says key feature spacious living areas. Maybe I wanna drop in a photo between the living areas and the gourmet kitchen. So I can click on this icon here with two little mountains and that's gonna give me an opportunity to bring in different items. So let's start off with an image. This is where I can come in to upload files or add an item. If I go to add item and then choose the magnifying glass, it takes me to the image library that I may have already been adding content to. Now, if you haven't uploaded any files, then we would click upload files, choose files, and we're gonna get then our file explorer and we would bring in some of the photos from the listing. <clears throat> so you can see now I could choose to have an internal name or caption, but I can also just choose to upload. And you can see that photo is brought in. I would click on save and close. And there is one of our photos and we can see what that looks like on the inside, right? So we've got spacious living areas. There's a picture of the spacious living area, gourmet kitchen, master retreat. Maybe we wanna put another picture underneath master retreat. So I would just enter, we're going to, let's put it right here actually. Oops, move that back over, put that right there. There we go. Um, and again, I can just choose image, upload file, choose file. Let's go with, I think we haven't loaded up three. This is another reason why you wanna name your photos really well so you know which one's which. We're gonna go ahead and upload this file. Yep, there we go. And we'll click upload. And now we're done, save and close. And you can see that brings in the photo of our master retreat. We can scroll down one more time. We've got an outdoor paradise. Let's make sure that we don't miss that. So we'll bring in one last photo, image, upload file, choose files. Sorry, I'm going through that quick, but we've done that three times now. So we will do that open. It'll bring in that last photo. We will click on upload, save and close. And now we've got the exterior photo. As we scroll down, we can also come down to the bottom and let's say we wanted to add in a video around the listing. Well, we can click the drop down, and now we're going to choose video. When we do, you can see that it says video required with a magnifying glass. I'm gonna click on that. And this will bring up any videos that I've loaded previously. Now I can come down to create. I can click on this drop down and see that I can bring in my own videos from Vimeo or YouTube. So let's go ahead and choose YouTube and we'll click on new. And let's just for kicks and grins, we're going to bring in yesterday's video around the custom navigation bar. So I will just paste in that URL link and you can see it's gonna bring up the internal name based upon the video name. You can see the preview. You can see what the title is going to be and yet you still can click in here and write in your own custom title. <clears throat> Showing slow, there we go, all right. You could choose to write a description. So video description would go here. And then you can choose if you want to bring in your own thumbnail and poster images. But if not, it's going to default to whatever that first image is in the video. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow that to be what we're going to utilize. So we're gonna click on publish in the top right. And now we should be able to go back and we're gonna see here's our new video that we just loaded here. So here's the title of that video, misspelled and all. So we're gonna click on it and you can see it brings in the video. We're gonna click on save and close one more time. And now if we scroll down, here's our video that's been embedded on our custom page. Last thing I wanna do right now, just for simplicity's sake, is let's add one more module. Now you can see we've got some additional modules that you can come in and play with. So there's a stat list. We've already done testimonial list. 
You could bring in a video as a module. I found it's easier to bring it in in the actual rich text editor, but it's up to you. Then we can also go to additional modules and here's where I want to bring in a contact form. So I'm gonna click on form and we'll come down to this module and you'll see, okay, we have to select which form we want to bring in. I'll click on the drop down. I will choose contact me, which is a form that's already been created for us. And there's all of my marketing information and the contact me form, which by the way, also captures email and phone number and allows the consumer to leave you a note should they choose to. So at this point, we have created a custom page, a landing page, right? We brought in our own header, our background image, our header text and description. We brought in the text of this actual landing page. We did some editing to the text. We brought in photos. We even brought in our own video. And then we added a module for a form that is the contact me form. So from here, I could just go to publish and now we are good to go. And you can see here is our URL here at the very top. So if we click on that, this would be the URL that we would want to share or post or use as our Facebook landing page or whatever that may be. This is that actual custom URL that leads to this specific landing page. This is the only place that you're gonna find this landing page is at this URL. So if we came back to our dashboard here on the left-hand side, this is gonna show us all the work that we've been doing previously on our agent site. But if we come down underneath custom landing pages, here is that landing page that we created just now in our list of pages. And again, if we click on it, if you forget the URL, it's right here at the very top. And it's basically whatever you titled your landing page, that's what the URL will be. So that's it for today, guys. Day 59, how to create your own custom landing page. In this case, to feature a listing, you could use a variety of different landing page options. Obviously, anything you wanted to do, feature an open house, etc. Uh, a lot of customization available inside of this editor, but hopefully that'll get you started on creating your own custom landing pages inside the consumer applet inside KW Command. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, and as always, I'll look forward to connecting with you again real soon.